and a one, breeze. two, three, four. They have to make a sly five. They have to. The way mm. four ended made I no sense. Honestly, I played the first Sly Cooper. I enjoyed it. I never played two and three. I haven't played four. Actually, I own two, and I think I got like halfway through. It was like two. Two yeah, is my favorite right. one. I never. I played the first Jack and Daxter. I was like, no, this is like a crappy. Uh, no, yeah, Jack. Attack. Jack one is bad, but two and three are good. Huh. That's how I feel. Like I like. I don't like Ratchet and Clank. I like basically all the games. Um, Sly Cooper, I like all the games, but my favorite is 2. Mm -hmm. And then Jack and Daxter, 2 and 3 are the best ones, and 1 I don't like. I but like 2 and 3 are pretty fun. 3 is really interesting, too. It's almost like the whole game is based off of like, uh, like time paradoxes. It's really weird. Huh. Like, yeah, you, I never got like it. Because in 2, no, in at the end of 1, it's like, you're still on the island, then in 2, like, there's that precursor, like, you know, portal, and you actually get to activate it, and then you go into the future, but it's weird, because in the future, Jack's younger self is in there, which makes no sense, and then also, Jack is basically, like, an ancient hero as well, so it's like he's... It's weird, like, he's almost existing in the future w as a younger self, but he's older in the past. It's so weird. That sounds really it, weird and strange, and you kind of lost me in the middle there. Yeah, it is. I don't understand it either. It's like, in the future, Jack's, like, five years old, but then, like, in the past, he's older than, him, than like, the future one. It makes no yeah. sense. Weird. I oh, what happened to my skate ball? I guess Lord. they got dropped. Because it got loud all of a sudden. That's weird. Alright. Either I got dropped or you guys oh. got dropped. I'm not really sure. Alright, wait, I have to quit. I have to go to main menu because... Alright. I don't know what happened. Anyway, it's confusing here. as hell. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the gist. Anyways, I'll, I gotta call my internet service provider for fuck's the sake. The only thing I don't like about 2 and 3 is... Like, it's the gut. Like, in 2 and 3 you get guns. Uh-huh. Plus you get Dark Jack in 2 and then in Light and 3 you get Dark and Light Jack. Which, Dark Jack is like... Yeah. You, it's basically like you get like an overpowered like melee form, where like you, light you like one shot everything, and basically, <laughs> and like um and but you can still be hurt in dark, but you also get like a lunge, like lunge you can lunge like thirty feet and like punch an enemy and kill them, and then light jack you can still use your guns, but you can do one where you stop time, you can fly. And you can also heal yourself, and you can make a, a shield for a temporary time. Mm -hmm. And um, in two, you get four guns. You get the peace, the peacemaker, which is like you shoot an electric shot that, it, when it hits an enemy, it shocks all the enemies around them. You get the scatter gun, which is a shotgun. The, the um, you get the blaster, which is just like a semi-auto rifle, and you get the Vulcan, which is like an LMG. Then in three, off those four main guns, you get two different versions. Like the scatter gun, you get you get the scatter gun, then you get the um, the wave concussor, which is like it makes a shock wave, and then you get the uh, RPG plasmite, which is a grenade launcher. Mm -hmm. Then the blaster, you get the reflexor, which is like the shots bounce off walls, and then you I also. I spammed the shit of that. And then you get, um, I think it's the gyro shot. It's like something gyro, and it you shoot like a disc in the air, and it shoots fifty rounds, and it automatically like targets enemies. The Vulcan, you get the um, the arc wielder, which is like an electric just beam. Then you also get the Needler, which is an LMG, it's like the LMG, but it has heat-seeking shots. Then you get the Peacemaker, you get the anti-gravity gun, which 
it just does that. It, all the enemies float up in the air and die when it wears off, and you get the supernova, which kills all enemies on your screen. Which is pretty OP. Because <laughs> there's points where you have like 50 enemies, and you can just shoot it once and it kills everything on your screen. Hmm. Only problem is it takes up a lot of ammo, so it you Yeah, can, it, takes you up, it takes up like 10 ammo points for the gun. Yeah. I just ended up losing the reflector because it's this. It's perfect. But then also thing with the precursor orbs, you can also buy abilities, like you can buy unlimited ammo, infinite health, you can buy unlimited dark ability and unlimited light so you don't have, so you don't run out. I mean Hence the turn two and three are That's good. Yeah. But one I didn't like at all. One one I one beat I, but I hated it. <laughs> I, I hated it too, I agree with you. It was just so bad, dude. Like I was, like I bought the Jack and da uh, Jack and Daxter collection. I have, yeah, I still have PS. I have, I have uh, Jack and Daxter Precursor Legacy, Jack Two, Jack Three, Jack X Combat Racing, Jack and Daxter the Lost Frontier, and I have Daxter. I played Daxter, but I've never played the Lost Frontier, the racing one. I, well, if I if I ever meet, see you again, I can let you borrow the Lost Frontier. I still have it. It's it's, it's not that bad. It's, it's all right. I, I it's, definitely it's, wouldn't like the race. I don't like racing games. So. <laughs> No, it had no plot lines. Literally just race until. Well, it had some plot, but it's not that major. It's mainly just racing. So. But the last was pretty. Oh. They have a. Uh, they have a new cool source you can use. Like Jack has new cool They have to do with the other stuff. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Get a refresh. Rush and Clank into the Nexus starts off so like strong. Like, it just starts off and you get, like, just so emotional already. <laughs> I never played the Ratchet and Clank like, PS3. I only played the PS2 one. Uh, it... It... God, freaking I Into the Nexus. One. That's all. I, yeah, I, I have all... I have tools... The only one I'm missing is Quest for Booty, but I have all the other ones. Hey, that's DLC, though. But, yeah. No, it's not. You can buy it. Oh. Alright, well... Isn't that supposed to be like a DLC for off tools to destruct or something like that? It it's came not out a, after tools to destruction, but it's it, not it's actually DLC. it's actually um part for into the nexus. It's actually an extra part uh, for that. Because okay. into the nexus is short. It only into the nexus has like five planets on it. Like I beat it three times in one day. Uh, okay. No life. That's, that's like um what's it called? God of War, a, like one of them, I remember you could beat it in like an hour if you played like non-stop. Like it was so short, I don't remember which one it was. I had it for my PSP when I had one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Into the Nexus starts off like, just like, as soon as like you finish the first area, it's like two people die. It was just like, wow. Yeah. I don't know if I'm talking about probably not. What now? Probably not. Games, you have no childhood. I'm sorry. Yeah. You have no, you have no PlayStation childhood. You only have a Nintendo childhood. Well, no, they're no, they're player. They're fr they. You meet them in um. In Tools of Destruction, is where you meet them, and they both die. I'm sorry. The PS3. The only ones I played were, Best of Clank, Epoch. Commando, up to Arsenal, and Size Matters. Yeah, that's the first five. Yeah, that's all I played. Good. After that, they're I didn't all get good to... stuff. Yeah, they're all really good. Yeah, I love Deadlock. Like I can never get Deadlock. Yeah, Deadlock is the best one to me. Yeah, because it's so fun. It's just like I just love the new bot to just add on to it. It, it was a really fun game. I never get tired. No, but freaking once well, you get into tools. So I I think I played a little bit of Secret Agent Clank. That's after Clank gets the. Uh, it's it was supposed to be after um, Tools of Destruction, like where after he gets kidnapped by the Zoni, he's supposed that's where it's like uh, tie in. Oh, it was after Rats and Clank One, maybe it was I know, but it's just like the where they made it because they released it like around the time of Tools of Destruction. It was just to fill in where Clank was missing in Tools of Destruction. Because yeah. at the end of Tools of Destruction is where Clank gets kidnapped by, by Zoni, and then 
later on in a crack in time, close to the ending, you get reunited with Clank. I see. And then, I don't know, the Tools of Destruction, it's like the three other characters is like two, they're like two lore bots, and then this other person. And in the. <laughs> And into the Nexus, like, they die in, like, the first area. I'm just like, okay. I'm <laughs> just like, wow, that's one way to start the game off. Like, I literally, when I first went out, but I did that really just happen when I started the game. Like, they, like, they just die. And at first I was like, no, maybe they're alive, maybe they survive because they're robots, but no, they died. Damn, dude. And the ending, like, they're ghosts and you see them. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, I'm not doing the crap. Hang on. Are you in here? Down here! Come on, I already know how to. I hate. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Is it L1X to do it? Yeah, that's how I grab me. Oh, I forgot I have. The thing is. It's gonna be okay. I don't know what you're, what you're listening to, but... I'm playing into the Nexus. <laughs> but, um... I'm gonna play Don't Starve. What the fuck am I doing? I'm so the, stupid. The thing with this is that, um... In order to get, like, the Omega weapons, you have to get all the gold bolts. Oh, that sucks. Like... It has to do that. Well, I remember that. Because the, way, the, the way this works is... You have to buy all the guns, then you have to get them to level 3, and then when they're at level 3, you have to have the gold bolt, like, one gold bolt, and, like, a certain amount of normal bolts to, to get the Omega version. <laughs> it's as you for a while. Yeah, and it's, it's, um, cause then... And like, when you get the Omega versions, they're actually like, the guns are all solid gold when you get them. Oh, that's, oh, that's kinda cool. Depends on the gun, though. Like, how the model would. <laughs> I think it's funny, like, cause, like, everything is gold. Even the Rhino. The Rhino's gold. The Rhino in this game is so good. The it's Rhino's called... good in basically every game. The only one it sucks it's in was... Just... Uh, in time. It's absolutely terrible. Because in a crack in time, you get like 3,000 shots. But the thing is, first it's weak, and it has no auto targeting. So you basically miss. And it's like almost like a point blank gun. Like you can't shoot enemies at like a certain range. Can you go like the first person mode? Or no? They don't have a first person, I don't think, in these. It's all, um. It's just the L1 strafe mode. But even in that, it doesn't have, like, a sight to aim with. Yeah, because, like, you know, sometimes they end up, like, giving you, like, that, if you hold L1 or something like that, or L2 or some shit, you end up, like, going, like, you know, in a way, kind of like a first person. Yeah, yeah, they have the first person, but th that doesn't have But This is so good. It, it's basically, like, it's like a minigun. And in the, like, so, and actually has, like, aiming, so you can actually aim with it. That's 3,000 rounds. It shoots really fast. It's strong, and it looks like, it's like a minigun. Damn, that sounds really good. And, um, the center, every, like, few shots, it shoots out a, a heat-seeking missile. So it's actually, like, a really good, <laughs> it's a really good, uh, rhino. I think my favorite rhino was the one from Size Matters, though. Oh, dude. I really like that one. The one from Up Your Arsenal, it was good until you got it fully upgraded. Like, it's good, but once you fully upgrade it, it sucks. Because, like, because when, because, not inside matters on Up Your Arsenal, it's like, you get it, and, like, it has heat seeking shots that, like, instantly kill everything, which is good, but then when you max it out, the shots don't heat seek, they just go straight like up into the air and they make like a like a Nova blast that doesn't even kill like enemies. Oh, like a Drake of Meteor from Pokemon. <laughs> it's like just one so small black. I hate it. Like, I don't like the. I don't like the. Uh... 
Rhino and I've got my snow. The thing is, although um, what's it called? Although like uh, Into the Nexus is like super short, like it's super short, like it's almost like a side game. It's like the guns are amazing. Like, I love all the guns in this game. Like. Like the like my two favorite ones are probably you got the singularity grenade and the Wait. nether fiend. Like the right. nether fiend is like almost a melee weapon where you just like move your like the way you swing your arm. It's like a monster comes like from a different yeah. reality and just like strikes the enemy where they are. 